Hello there gamers, is everyone doing this wonderful day today? It's Marvel and you guys, hope everyone's doing great. Uh, I was just looking at my bank account balance here, and we have 214 million coins remaining. That is not good. That's that's the total of, uh, between, you know, the purse and the two different bank accounts, 214 million. So, um, yesterday I sold a couple things so that we could get more than 200 million coins, because that's like really low. So we have, you know, a modest 8.8 .8 .8 billion here, and then another 3 billion and it's unsold because I priced these badly. Um, so yeah, that sucks because that's a big fee to list both of those and they probably won't sell. It doesn't really matter though. It's okay. Uh, so yeah, now we're rich. The problem is I don't have anything else that I can sell. So once I blow my, you know, 9 billion here, I'm not really too sure what else I'm going to sell to get more coins after that. However, though, maybe we're going to Apex today. These I feel this morning, so they have lots of time left on them. So 19 hours. So I'm not really expecting there to be, you know, anything super crazy. One single vertex. Does it bother you the refraction's head is on your outlet? No, of course not, man. I'm never going to destroy refraction's is gonna stay forever. This is the flipping shrine type of thing. I don't really know if a shrine is the is the right word. But yeah, speaking of this, you know, whole thing, right, with all the uh, network stuff, right? So I spent a good bit of time this morning compiling a document that was put together by LD Best of all of my old auction house purchases. And I'll just show it real quickly here. But you know, I tried to not pay attention to anything that's from 2023 or 2024. This is only the really old stuff. And I have, you know, what what I bought, when I bought it, how much I paid for it, what the current price is, the profit multiplier, assuming I still have it, and the percentage multiplier. So the reason that I did all this is because I wanted to do a video where I discuss this right here. The fact that one year ago, uh, or like around one year ago, you know, the net worth was 250 billion ish. And now one year later, you know, it's almost 800 billion. I think if I look at this screenshot right here, you know, 788, this is from yesterday. Some of these are really crazy. You know, I'll go through, you know, them in detail, but like the wild ones to really point out is the fact that I bought an applied black sheep on February 14th, 2021, three years ago, and I paid 100 million coins for it. And the current price of them is, you know, at least 25 billion now, which is super ridiculous. 25,000% return, assuming I still have this one. The thing with this is, you know, when I was going through making this, I'm thinking, you know, I still have a lot of these skins, but like, I certainly don't have three black applied sheeps right now or three purples, right? I mean, I did over the course of me playing Skyblock. So I was thinking, does it really make sense just because like, like I did didn't actually like this isn't like a profit amount that I made because I no longer have the skin but I also still have a ton of these though probably most of them from like here down I have all of this stuff still on top of the skins I even went further to you know compile some accurate pricing for the 1919 collection so that's what I've got right here and if the numbers are confusing it's because it's in millions so you know this is you know 50 billion but it's it's listed in millions for the sake of you know making it look nicer uh and then I did the same you know for the wither sets because these wither sets that I have right here here that have been sitting in my e-chest since March 1st of 2022, which is the day that the glitch happened for the second time, allowing these items to be created. So I bought them and then I put them on my island and then inside of my e-chest. But since then they haven't moved and they're all just sitting right here still. And I looked back at the video, which I'll show in a little bit where I purchased these. And I was looking at, you know, how much was I paying for these during the glitch? Because I was just straight up buying them off the auction house, right? Because you were just able to go, you know, AHS Maxor and then bang, you could just buy them right here because the glitch was literally happening in real time while I was buying them. So people were creating the glitch black pieces and then they were selling them to me immediately after or they were selling them on the auction house and then I was buying them, right? I knew that, you know, they're going to patch it and these are going to be extremely valuable in the future. And, um, you know, that's that's how it, you know, ended up working out, right? Because I bought, um, I looked at the video, I paid about 1.7 billion during the glitch for the Necron set right here. And one of these sold not that long ago for 14.5 billion on the auction house. And then since then, and other sets have sold. There was a set that sold for 24 billion, which I, I don't know what was up with that. Why why that was so much or whatever. I don't know if it's really what the set's worth. I have an extra chest plate too. And you know, I don't really know if anybody actually like cares on the server or if there's value attributed to it, but these are the only clean Necron chest plate, black dyed or black, you know, glitched Necron chest plates on the entire server. These two right here. So I always thought that was, you know, kind of cool. This is the video where I was buying them right here. You know, this is roughly what I was paying for them. And then, you know, this is, you know, roughly what they're worth now. Same goes for these um, black sets. It's, it's, it's really Really tough for me to figure out you know what what i paid for each one of these because i don't really think i included the clips in videos i know the superior set though for sure because i talked about it multiple times before and it's inside of my wardrobe and it shows the first time i put it in there so june 2nd 2020 is the day that i purchased the 1919-19 superior set and i still have it you know four years later obviously at the time it was worth significantly less than it is now i paid 600 million for it four years ago and now the set could easily be worth 50 billion or at least that's what players are offering others that have it but they're not willing to 
sell it. So we'll see when somebody, you know, actually sells it in the future, what it's worth. But anyways, I wanted to talk about, you know, some of these skins up at the top, because some of these are pretty wild. If you look at, you know, like the profit multiplier, assuming that, you know, I still have this exact, you know, unapplied green elf Jerry that I bought on 215, 2021 for 41 million coins, right? I obviously have an unapplied green Jerry. I don't know if it's the exact same one. Does it really matter? I don't know. May maybe sort of kind of, but you know, I did at one point buy one of these for 41 million off the auction house, right? These are all auction house transactions right here. None of these were, you know, trade menu trades. Like you could literally see that, you know, it's kind of funny that I bought it from Golden Dusk. So lowest bin on the auction house where any player could have bought it. It just, you know, it was me that ended up buying it. Really, I compiled this list because I wanted to emphasize that the way that the rich players in Skyblock get rich is by buying skins and not selling them. Because if you look at the difference between what I paid and what the current price is for every single item on this entire list, it is significantly higher than what I paid for it. Some of them, you know, 25,000% more than what I paid for them. The value of old skins has never gone down. These are all, you know, sitting there at the you know highest point that they've ever been in Skyblock history, which, you know, that's pretty cool. You know, for all the people who stuck with it, they, they bought them in, you know, 2021, 2020, 2022. And then, you know, they held them up up until now, right? That there were so much more. Look at the sheep, you know, category right here. You know, this is pretty wild. Look at all these sheeps that I had at one point. That's insane. None of them are unapplied though. None of them are unapplied. These are all applied sheeps. Um, and then there was another really crazy one up here. Look at, I bought a red elephant for 10 million coins. It's kind of wild. The rock category right here, an unapplied uh, smiling rock skin for 195 million. Now they're worth, you know, 5.5 billion. That was in 2021. Here's the, you know, this is it right there. And then these, especially, I still have, I think most of these, I think I sold some of them. I definitely sold some of these mycelium skins, you know, regrettably because I sold them for much less than what they're worth now. Back in, you know, around this time, October, November of 2022, I was looking around the auction house and I was thinking, you know, some of these older skins, like the handsome J, and um, the mycelium and the white woolly, you know, a bunch of them in this like whole area right here. These, you know, these two rows and these couple rows right here. I was looking at the auction house and I was checking out the prices and I was like, you know, 8 million coins, huh? 8 million coins for a mycelium mushroom skin and a baby megalodon and a white woolly. So my my logic was, you know, I think that's going to be worth more in the future. So I bought, uh, you know, tons of them, 21 of them, 26 of them, 25 of them. Some of them are on my profile. The rest are sitting on my island because we have literally zero slots left. So I can't put the stuff on my profile anymore. Hopefully they add more EHS pages in the future so that, you know, I can do that. These are some of the, you know, bigger groupings that I purchased, you know, Handsome Jerry's 24 of them for 7 million coins each. Those are, you know, lowest bin right now is 48 or H average is 48. One of those two numbers. Look how low these were at one point. That's, you know, that's pretty wild. Kudra loyalty used to be 15 million coins lowest bin. Now it's 135. You know, Mycelium Mushroom used to be 8 million coins lowest bin. Now it's 232. That is pretty insane. You know, Pastel Ender dragon for 6 million coins. What in the world? Look at that. 5.8 million coins for a pastel ender dragon. These are so crazy to look at. That's so wild that they used to be that cheap. That's crazy. Stuff down here. I think this is, you know, one of the most interesting sections down here because I know that people are going to be very interested in, you know, what are the exotics worth? Would you pay for them? And, you know, I wish I knew what I bought them for. I don't, you know, maybe somehow I could figure it out at some point in the future, but it would be so difficult to figure out because most of the stuff I had to put together, like I would have to buy this young chest plate off of one person and the leggings off another person and the boots off another person. So then it's like, that is so many transactions to string together multiplied across, you know, all of these sets right here. Same thing kind of applied for these wither sets, but I bought them all on the same day. So it was pretty easy to figure out what I paid for these. So, you know, gold or leggings were 247 million, you know, when the glitch was happening, these are, you know, however much now, right? Cause the full set's 5 billion. So, so these prices right here, I was looking around and asking people who have these and have had these and have sold them recently, you know, what did you sell your 19, 19, 19 young set for? One of them sold for 13 billion recently. And I think it was really similar to mine, you know, reforge only on the chest plate and legs and, you know, nothing on the boots. It was very similar to this. As far as I know, you know, these should be pretty close to accurate pricing, but you know, it just changes so much so often that it's just tough to say. So it's all kind of like guesstimating, uh, but like protector 6 billion, Y 7.7 .7 billion, strong and unstable, 2.5 each, old 3 billion, 
and then these aren't really all that expensive but the soup set's really the wild one the fact that you know there's players out there willing to pay 50 billion and then there's also this which which was a little bit more recently but the no-name creative mind that i bought right here that's probably one of the coolest items on my profile i mean i have to say that the ultimate wither scroll is probably the coolest item on my profile but this is probably the second coolest because it has no name on it they don't give these out anymore last time they gave one of these out was like january 2022 maybe february 2022 something like that i should clarify they don't give out no name creative minds anymore they do give out creative minds but they have names and additions on them no name creative minds were discontinued and there's extremely few of them in the game and since i bought this right i don't think any of them have like popped up for sale uh maybe one but i think it was like a cheater trade and i think everybody got wiped and with you know that was involved with it and then i have a couple game breakers but those aren't super crazy because they still give those out all the time but this is a very cool item you know what would this be worth i paid you know 30 billion for it you know is it more than that now i don't know we'll see if anybody ever even sells one again in the future i wouldn't be surprised if there if one literally never sells again uh so you know we'll we'll see it's this this was an item that i've been eyeballing for a really long time and i'm super super glad that i was able to get one okay i wanted to show this too right this was a year ago so i did a year ago the full unapplied skin collection these three pages right here these three backpack pages in this video this title is me guessing that both the full unapplied collection and the applied collection put together is worth about 35 billion and what's really crazy about that is that, that is all six of these pages right here put together that i was estimating to be 35 billion there's a good chance that this one single black sheepskin is worth twice as much as that now this thing could be 70 80 billion uh something outrageous like that which is two times more than the entirety of all six of these pages put together so what this would actually be worth now is you know hundreds of billions and just one year ago i was estimating that it was 35 that's super super crazy this screenshot i wanted to include because i just thought it was wild that a year ago top net worth was between you know 126 bill and 112 bill because this is um, me and Refraction's thing. This is why his head's on my island. Our net worths at the time were, you know, around 100 billion. And now look at them. I, now it's like, you know, <laughs> 800 billion a year later, eight times higher, extremely ridiculous. Two years ago, when I estimated that I had spent 20 billion on all the black exotic sets, which is once again, similar to the skin situation, extremely wild. Because, you know, if I made 20 billion for all these sets, superior included, you know, the soup set alone could be 50 50 plus disregarding all the rest of them extremely crazy this video i thought was you know pretty funny as well this was me buying quote unquote useless upgrades aka skins right i was trying to complete you know the full that video three years ago was me when i originally did the full applied skin collection so most of these skins right here all these applied ones i've had for three years and most of the skins that i'll show me buying in that video are the ones that can be seen on this spreadsheet because this is when i was buying them right 2021 so a lot of these skins that you see right here from these, you know, 2021 purchases are sitting right here in my each has still, I never sold them despite me, you know, having made 30 times, 50 times, 250 times my money on, on the skins that the, the, the whole key is you just never sell. So I'll show, um, you know, this is it right here. You know, what a crazy little clip just to pause it right here. I mean, look, there, there's, there's five green sheep listed right there. And one in my inventory that I had just bought, there's four purples, three pinks. Look at those blues look at all those whites what a crazy period of time when the auction house looked like this look at them all in my inventory i was sitting there just buying them all right look at this one right here L look at all those blacks oh my god look at them all mr taco man i thought this was funny right mr taco man selling one of these sheeps this this was like a uh super notorious duper so yeah look at all those black sheeps just listed there on the auction house that's insane imagine if you had just been there on 6 16 2021 and bought all those and then disconnected and joined net back right now this would have cost you a couple billion i right i guess I don't know what they are. I mean, they have to be less than 329, right? Because I'm sorting by highest. So this is probably the most expensive one in the auction house right here. Or I'm sorting by lowest, but I'm on the last page. So these are less than 300 then, right? Or less than 329. So this couldn't have cost you more than like what, 1 point something billion? That's that's like a hundred times return on your money if, if you had bought them and then held them until now. I thought that was pretty wild. This is, you know, this was me spending 5 billion, which, you, you know, to, to buy all the full applied set, I think is what was going on here. I don't know if I did it across multiple videos. Videos, if I purchased every single one of these skins for 5 billion. Also, look how much money I had in my 
my purse at the time, 27 billion. This was back when there was nothing to buy, back when skins were, you know, very early, because like most of these skins hadn't actually come out yet. So it was probably only one or two pages, actually. This is 2021, mid 2021. So this is back when there was really nothing to purchase in the video game. So I always had such an outrageous purse because I couldn't buy anything. There was nothing left to buy in the game. This right here, back the old tray menu. Look, this is me buying the, um, you know, right there on the tray menu. That's the black Necron set. And then I kind of showed them right here, the ones that I had so far. There's the set that I just bought that I still have. This video is two years old. I kept it to this day. I still have it. And you can see the other ones that are, right? Because I was in the process of buying them all because the glitch was happening in real time. Cool that I was online and able to buy them. And then this was, you know, the original video from February 22nd, 2022, around the time when I was buying all the black sets, all of which I still have, you know, you can still, it also looks the exact same. There they all are sitting right there. I never sold any of them. The key is to just not sell. And then I also have this screenshot right here, which I feel like is pretty cool. I asked the net worth bot guys yesterday, you know, do you guys have any data on like, what's the average player's net worth and what's the server wide net worth? So the net worth bot people said that they're tracking 1.2 million profiles, which I feel like is low because um, since the levels update came out, 9 million people have joined the game. So like, where's the other, all the other people? So this data is not super accurate, especially this number. My guess is that the average player net worth being 1 billion, it's probably a very accurate number, but this is probably a huge low ball because if it's one quadrillion coins across 1.2 million players and there's been 9 million that have joined, this number will be, you know, multiple quadrillions, right? What is it? Isn't that ridiculous? You know, just across 1.2 million people, it's a, a quadrillion coins that they hold on their account. That's pretty wild. Oh, and then also I wanted to talk about this right here. Over the last year, I've kind of tried to keep track of, you know, the contraband that's been given to me, right? The free coins that, you know, players have come to my own and said, you know, so maybe I'm going to quit. I'm never going to play the game again. It's either you take my stuff or I disconnect and stay in my profile. So in the circumstances, you know, right? Like when that happens, I end up saying, you know, like, are, like, are you sure you actually want to give me this stuff? Like you're definitely never going to play again. And then like, yeah, you know, I'm not going to play again. If you don't take it, it's going to be gone forever once I disconnect. So I say, you know, okay, that's fine. You know, I'll take your stuff if you're never going to play again. So over the last year, these are the players, you know, that are giving me free items. So I told it up, you know, between these signs right here, it comes out to be 65 billion from, you know, about the 25th of last year to about the 25th of this year, 625. So when I look at the, um, net worth increase from 625.23, the net worth is around 250 billion. And when I look at the net worth increase from, you know, like today's date, it's around 800 billion. So 65 billion of that was the, you know, contraband free coins, which makes up 12% of the net worth increase. That is excluding the price appreciation of the exotic and glitched items and chested items that I have. So if you included the price appreciation of like stuff like this, then it, it, it'd be a single digit percent. So contraband, like for sure, like plays a role, either a single digit percent or a maximum of, you know, around 12%. That definitely is something, but you know, I think that it's a lot less than, um, you know, some people might think it is right. Cause I think that some people think that my net worth going from 250 billion to 800 billion means that people just came to my Island and traded me 550 billion coins, which is, you know, like obviously not true. Cause it's like an outrageous amount of money for players to have traded me. Right. But the real reason why the net worth went up 550 billion is basically for me, like not playing the game pretty much, or well, I, I mean, still playing the game, but just letting all the items sit inside of my chest because everything inside of here as i showed before is you know worth substantially more than what it was a year ago so you know that's that that is the reason behind the net worth increase and and you know red of course contraband played a role